So chat two at the Hilton Colombo, Graves Kitchen. I'm enjoying my food here, lovely food here, with its general manager, Manish Fernando. Manish should also be area general manager for Sri Lanka. Now, what does this tag entail? Kuma, uh, of course, my primary duty is to look after the Hilton Colombo because I'm the GM of this hotel as well. And then we've got GMs who are in the hotels which are operating or which are about to open. Uh, and so obviously they are doing their primary duty, which is to run those hotels. Then I have a sort of a oversight leadership role. Uh, so they report to you, obviously. Correct. And uh, there is a, a role which you play. Uh, we call it in Hilton a satellite uh, uh, management. So it's not that you try to run those hotels, but you help them, you support them, and uh, you try to put them, uh, make their life easier. That's the role. So there is someone in the country who does it. Otherwise, it used to be my boss uh, who is in Singapore. So geographically, uh, distance-wise, it's uh, much more. Uh, but now you have someone local who is uh, also supporting uh, those hotels which are supposed to open or which are operating. That's the. So we're talking of Yala, Vila Vila, Nigambo, Kandy, and Nuredia. Correct. So Nigambo, Yala, Vila Vila are under construction. And Vira Villa should be opening pretty soon. Yala maybe uh, 2021. Uh, Nigambo is under construction. Nurelia, Kandy, Koskoda, these have uh, got a bit delayed because of uh, what happened in the last one year. 2020, 2019 was an uh, April issue and then uh, now we had this one. So sometimes the best of plans need to be uh, changed to uh, uh, flex with the situations which we face, right? Is the time opportune to open all these properties? I'm not a psychic and I can't say what's going to happen in the next one year or two years. But looking at our, I mean, we've been on earth for so long, our history, our civilization, we've faced many different uh, challenges. 21st April 2019, we thought the whole world has fallen off, but we came back stronger. And I'm sure with uh, this situation as well, the world's going to find a solution and come out of it stronger. We might have to adapt to new things new ways of doing things, but we're going to come out of it. We are human beings who are very, very adaptable, right? Resilient. Resilient, too. and we're going to bounce back, right? We're going to find ways to... Science is there, there is artificial intelligence, there is pretty strong computers which can, which can think on their own, which is going to find solutions for these problems, right? So we're going to come back, and it's not the end of the world. It's not a zombie apocalypse, right? <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to fill all those hotel rooms? All these properties across Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, I think, uh, has got great potential uh, and we've been only in the city and 20 years ago, I remember when I was a management trainee or 20, 21 years ago, uh, the GM then, another Fernando who was here, he had signed up six properties then, but unfortunately, uh, with what happened in the country and then his departure, uh, those plans uh, went away with all the situations we had to face in the country. but. Uh, so much potential and the amount of tourism arrivals we get is uh, nothing compared to the potential of the destination. So I think there is a lot of room for people to other other entrants to come in as well. And uh, we can all be a part of this uh, amazing destination. How do you respond to the word over tourism? Sri Lanka as a destination and possible over tourism. Are we heading there? Yeah, it depends the way you look at the destinations you're going into. There are certain destinations which were very famous. I don't want to tell them. Which were very famous in the past, which have suddenly gone out of vogue because with the new highways coming in, people are now able to access further interior of the country. So we must make sure that uh, there is 65,000 square kilometers. We must make sure that we don't over impact certain areas and destroy the ecosystems and destroy the, the, the communities. We must be careful that we keep a balance and uh, over tourism when you say over tourism we must also make sure that we don't over invest in one industry uh, because if you over invest in one industry you see what happens right uh, some countries like uh, if you look at thailand massive investments massive amount of workforce in tourism can you imagine the impact when the whole whole lockdowns happen what's happened to the people no one's talking about it right so uh, just like Everything in life, you must uh, divide your portfolio 
in a way that you don't get too affected if something happens in the environment, that we don't go into a shock, you know, so that you have a portfolio of investments. When one is doing badly, one does well. If you look at the conglomerates in Sri Lanka, you will see uh, some of them, the hotels were empty, but still they're doing well because they had, uh, maybe they had a port business or maybe they had a PPE manufacturing company or a garment, sorry, a plantation, which is suddenly doing well. Uh, which balances off the negativity of uh, the leisure industry, right? So we must, as a country as well, I believe, think uh, in a, in a uh, pretty balanced way. In terms of the Hilton properties uh, in this country, uh, your new your new uh, new new properties, um, how would they differ from other such properties in those areas, the towns and the cities you just mentioned? So if you look at uh, Vera Villa. There is no other hotel around there, okay? And it's at the end of the brand new highway. And you can access uh, Udavalava, you can access Yala, you can access all those places, almost equidistant. Uh, and it's in a very unique location, okay? If you look at Yala, yes, there is uh, hotels on either side of us, but our design is pretty uh, avant-garde and our uh, design is very much focused on uh, villas. So it's gonna be a very, very niche product. Uh, which will add value in terms of design, in terms of experience uh, and differentiation. Can you know really? Those, those properties, Nigambo has been built, it's on the coast. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be uh, a double tree uh, and it will bring, it will be the first, I think, international uh, brand in Nigambo. So that will be bringing in something, add value to uh, the Nigambo stretch. The others have not been built because as I said, we've got delayed. Uh, so we are working on them, yeah. So you're confident that uh, Hilton will... Hilton's well been Hilton, Hilton's, Hilton's been here for 33 years. And to our guests who come here and stay, uh, who come from abroad, now we could, in the future, we could be booking a full round trip on Hilton, right? So... Yes, have, that yeah, was my question. So, this entire correct. tour can be done. Correct. We've got uh, our Hilton Honours uh, members, 100, I think close to 100 million. Uh, and we will all be a captive market for all these guests because they, they know Sri Lanka is a uh, very, very uh, talked about destination, you know, lonely planet, national geographic, which always been on the top. A lot of people want to come and they're going to be coming here. They're going to be coming here doing round trips uh, of Sri Lanka. So one can network. stay loyal to the Hilton brand alone and go through all your, your properties in Sri Lanka and cover most of the country. Correct. So that's the ultimate goal. That's the ultimate goal. And that's yeah. the monopoly you'll have. Won't be a monopoly. It's going to be uh, a uh, preferred option. A preferred option have. because uh, our hotels are not big either. The ones which are outside are not too big. So sure, there's going to be more more demand than what we are supplying. So. We are Vision Care. You said that Sri Lanka need not replicate uh, Singapore. That we can be our own brand but pitching up there what do you mean by that singapore is a city state right which is the size of uh, colombo i think colombo district approximately okay uh, it's a beautiful place i love it completely I love it, love it. I love okay it and I, I go there for my breaks people laugh at me but i love it okay but here we are 22 million people 65000 square kilometers many weather systems uh, and people are dispersed all around the country so I don't know why we talk about Singapore it's good to be aspirational in terms of uh, uh, getting there it's a top country in the world but we need to have our own story we need to have our own uh, script written own unique script 25 percent of the people are engaged in agriculture in this country uh, another I think 15 to 20 percent of the workforce is working abroad so we need to do something which is relevant to us right relevant to our young people relevant to everyone in the village to relevant to which is our own story, right? We are in the middle of a very busy sea lane. So we need to diversify our, uh, our portfolio. We can't just be a, a city, state, city state kind of tourist product. We need to have parts of it, but we need to think overall how everyone in the 22 million uh, nation is going to survive, right? So we have our own unique story to write. And we are so lucky we've got a beautiful uh, country, we've got a very fertile land, we've got an extra amount of water surrounded by sea right round. So what we can't do, what we can't do, you know, you look at a country like Israel, right? 
uh, the amount of exports it does on with one third the country size, one third of our size, right? I think 22,000 square kilometer rainfall is, you know, we say Hamantore is dry zone. It's not dry zone. Okay, I go there always. It's raining. I don't know who said that. Okay, <laughs> I think Israel gets less than that in terms of rain. They're using seawater to or brackish water to grow tomatoes, to, to grow avocados. So many things we can do in our country, right? Which uh, uh, I think if we really, really focused on, we can make happen. If I were to move away from the Hilton Colombo and the Hilton properties in this country, I'd come to Manish for Fernando. My last question, I want a very quick, uh, concise answer. You want to retire one day as a farmer. Uh, this is... That's, that's, my, that's my dream. You know why? Why? Because I believe uh, this country is in a unique location in the middle of one of the most, well, in the middle of the most number of people in the world, right? Within two, three hours, you've got Bangladesh, Pakistan, India, China, all these countries, right? The fertility of our land, the amount of free land we have, without trying to set fire to all the jungles and everything, you know, uh, and the trade routes we have, connectivity with one plane into Singapore, one plane to Dubai, one, you know, three hours. So much we can do if we were scientific in terms of agriculture. Uh, if you take today, I bought you a coffee, right? World's most traded commodity, right? Coffee. Okay. How much coffee we grow? We had coffee a long time ago. There was a blight. Have we ever looked at growing it commercially again? We have not. Okay. You look at cocoa. Okay. Who are the main cocoa producing countries, which are Ghana, uh, Indonesia, uh, Venezuela, uh, Ivory Coast, uh, Madagascar. Okay. We have a, again, we have a potential. Right? If you look at cocoa, chocolate, right? Uh, then I gave you a mousse with avocado, right? Israel, one of the biggest exports they have is avocado in a dessert, right? You have so many things and all these things go with tourism, right? Chocolate, the coffee, and this is all about health, th health thinking about new things, right? Uh, and that's where agriculture and tourism they go together and if you look at top destinations around us you take dubai singapore you got delhi on top these are all major uh, cities with lots of uh, wealthy people right if we manage to grow do our own brands on these products can you imagine the country branding can you imagine the amount of money which will go into the villages the agricultural uh, people who are working there so that's why i always say and a hotel, you're building a hotel. If you look at hotels, most of it is six months season, six months off season, right? So how do you offset this thing where people only get employed six months, seasonal labor? So one way we can cushion that is by having a robust uh, strategic agricultural sector on high value items, you know, not only uh, what we're doing already, uh, how can we add more value? Uh, by taking these elements and fixing it to our tourism brand and thinking bigger. So that's why I believe, yeah, that's my uh, dream. I don't know whether I can do it, but that's if my dream. If you could summarize all that in mm -hmm. one long sentence, why would you want to retire one day as a farmer? I don't know. I just got to, I just, I just think that's where we belong, right? That's uh, everyone. Everyone in this country should be growing something, right? Everyone should be growing something because there is so much empty land. You fly in from Singapore, you see so much empty land, right? And unproductive or low production. So it's tapping and harnessing the potential. Tapping, yeah, because the sun is there on top. You got the sun 365 days. You got the water overflowing where in India there's shortage of water. You got a fertile land, so what else you need to do? You need to put some uh, effort and grow something which you can add value and sell. Not only growing raw material and exporting, but how to add value after that. You know. So that's your dream and your wish. I for think. Yourself. I think everyone and you should bring pride into this because today when you say you are a farmer, people look look down upon you, right? Uh, but we must bring the pride and we must uh, go back to our roots uh, and. 
I would like to tell you some more controversial stuff, but I won't because you're going to, I'm going to be on TV. Yeah. Uh, and so I won't tell you that. Time, uh, yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. So talking about <laughs> agriculture, one of the biggest high potential agricultural uh, crops we can grow. I don't want to talk about it because it's legal in some countries, know, not know, legal here. I know, okay. I know, it's yes. part of our history. We should be doing it. Yes. Yeah. Manish, thank you so much for being my guest Pleasure. on the show and talking to me uh, at my host hotel, the Hilton Lambo, of which you are the general manager. Thank uh, you. Good luck. Thank all you. the best to you. Thanks so much. Thank you. We thank meet you, you again uh, next week. Another guest right here, Hilton Columbo. Thank you. <laughs>